Hey, I'm Brian from BrianKeenFitness.com, qualified personal trainer and nutritionist. Are you looking to build your own nutritional plan? Here's how you do it. Working with a nutritionist, working with a dietitian, or coming through an online program can be expensive. And sometimes you're better to design your own nutritional plan. Now, I'm a firm believer that you're either going to have more time or more money. If you have more money, it's probably worth working with a professional to work on a nutritional plan tailored to your goals. But if you have more time, you might be better off doing it yourself. Here's how you do it. Number one, get crystal clear on your end goal. When it comes to designing your own nutritional plan, you need to know exactly what target it is that you're going after. Are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to reduce body fat? Are you trying to build muscle? Are you trying to improve health? Are you trying to improve performance? Are you trying to improve or increase your libido or energy levels? All of these questions are very valid when it comes to designing your own nutritional plan because the food choices you make will reverse engineer what goal you're looking to achieve. If you're looking to lose weight, or lose body fat, your main focus is going to be on a calorie deficit. If you're looking to improve your libido or increase your energy levels, your food choices are going to play a more important role. If you're looking to improve sporting performance for something like a marathon, you might look at dietary strategies like fat adaption or carb adaption and finding what might be the best fit for you. But you have to know what the goal is. You can't hit a target you can't see. So the first step when it comes to designing your own nutritional plan is get clear on the goal. Number two, Find something that fits into your lifestyle and schedule. I'll come back to this point later on, but consistency is absolutely key when it comes to a nutritional plan that you follow. If it doesn't fit into your lifestyle, if it doesn't fit into your schedule, you're not going to be able to stick to it. If you have a really busy life and you're not able to prepare meals in advance, you're going to struggle with a plan that requires a lot of prep time for meals. So you're going to look at alternatives, either ready-to-go meals that are quite healthy and convenient that fit into your goals, or potentially outsourcing it to a meal prep company who do your meals for you. There's lots of different strategies for this, but you have to find a plan and create a nutritional plan that you can stick to that fits into your lifestyle and fits into your schedule, because consistency is key. Number three, include foods you enjoy. This sounds so obvious, but is often overlooked when it comes to designing your own nutritional plan. A lot of us will have decent education around food, especially if you're following this channel. Complex carbs, healthy fats, complete protein sources, plenty of fruits and vegetables, all the bread and butter basics, pardon the pun, of a good nutritional plan. But at the end of the day, if you include foods that you don't enjoy, you're not going to be able to stick to that plan long term. So experiment. Don't like sweet potato? Try brown rice. Don't like chicken? Try beef. Don't like broccoli? Try some spinach. Experiment with different foods to find what you enjoy. And if you want to take that one step further and include some of your favorite foods like chocolate bars or crisps or ice cream, then you just need to educate yourself around basic calories and add those foods in and make sure that they fit into your calorie intake for the day. Point number four, experiment. When it comes to nutrition, it's not a one size fits all. You have to experiment to see what works best for you. Food choices, the macro content split, calories you eat, all of these things you need to experiment with. For example, if your goal is weight loss or fat loss, you need to be in a calorie deficit. You calculate your TDDE, your total daily energy expenditure, which will tell you how many calories you need to stay the same weight, and then you just eat below that. That's your calorie deficit, but you need to experiment with that. There's so many other things to consider with weight loss, like your metabolic rate, how many calories you burn while you rest, and your activity level throughout the day. So experiment with your daily calorie intake on a weight loss plan, because you might be able to eat a lot more calories than you think. Or if you're inactive and you're sitting for large portions of the day, because you work in an office or you drive a lot, you might need to go lower with your calorie intake to hit a weight loss goal. But experiment with it, regardless of what goal you're trying to achieve. Point five, failure is feedback. When it comes to nutrition, it's very rarely one and done. All the failure that you get with nutrition is feedback on what you need to change going forward. You tried dropping your carbs really low and felt rubbish and energy levels were crap. So you know you need to increase your carbs a little bit higher for the next week to see how your body responds. Dropped your fats really low because it saved on calories, but your sex drive plummeted. You probably need to bump your fats back up again. Every quote unquote failed attempt when it comes to nutrition is feedback on what you need to do going forward. Keto diet failed for weight loss? Try tracking calories. Intermittent fasting failed and didn't work for you? Try a plant-based lifestyle. Clean eating didn't work because you had really bad cravings? Try an if it fits your macros approach. There's lots of different dietary strategies that will work for different people. It's about finding what works best for you. Square pegs work great in square holes. Square pegs are terrible fits in round holes. Diets are exactly the same. If you find a nutritional plan and a diet that works for you, stick to it. If you try it and it doesn't work, move on to the next one until you find the thing that's sustainable for you over the long term. And the sixth and final point, which is probably the most important of all, be consistent. When it comes to nutrition, when it comes to diet, it's all about consistency over intensity. What can you stick to long-term? It's what I call the nutrition mindset. 
where you make slight adjustments based on when your goals change. The diet mindset, on the other hand, is where you do something extreme for a short period of time, but you can't stick to it long term. You'll see that with a lot of traditional diets, elimination of food groups, counting sins or points, or anything that's extreme that doesn't lend itself to longevity. But at the end of the day, it's about finding what works best for you. If you find those approaches are working for you and you can stick to them long term, keep doing them. But if they're not, you need to change something and find a plan you can be consistent with. Just make sure it's in alignment with your goals. So there you have it, six ways that you can design your own nutritional plan. I'm curious, let me know your thoughts. Have you ever tried creating your own nutritional plan? What has been the biggest struggle for you or what's been the biggest thing that's worked for you? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Our videos coming each and every week.